The majority Kurdish city of Kobani in northern Syria has been under siege by Islamic State militants for weeks. Here's a look at some of the key battlegrounds in the fight for the city. Mishchenar Hill is a strategic high ground overlooking Kobani. Islamic State forces overtook it as they advanced toward the city in early October, releasing a propaganda video set to show fighters firing from the hill. The militants' assault on the city has come hardest from the south and east. Southern Road is a key transit and resupply route for Islamic State militants between Kobani and their home base of Raqqa. The industrial zone of eastern Kobani was the focus of some of Islamic State's first attempts to push into the city's center from its outskirts in early October. Advancing from the east, Islamic State fighters captured Asayesh, a headquarters of the local Kobani police, on October 8th. It was seen as a significant loss for Kurdish defenders, who later recaptured it. Street 48 is an east-west thoroughfare and a main route of transit through Kobani. Control over it has been contested numerous times by Islamic State militants and Kurdish militia. A crucial goal for Islamic State in the siege of Kobani is control over the Mursid Pinar border crossing between Syria and Turkey. The militants have tried numerous times to take the crossing in order to surround Kobani from all sides. The Turkish government is compounding the problem for Kurds by not allowing military supplies to flow through the crossing to Kobani's Kurdish defenders, and Kurds attempting to cross from Turkey to Syria to join Kobani's defense have been tear-gassed by Turkish security. Meanwhile, Turkish tanks and artillery have been massed on hills overlooking the city from the Turkish side of the border, but Turkey has thus far declined to intervene in the fight for Kobani. WSJ reports that Islamic State advances on the city have slowed, and that the fighting has taken a significant toll on the extremist group, with hospitals in Raqqa filled with wounded fighters, and untrained recruits thrown into the fray. But as fighting around the city continued Friday, it appeared that Islamic State is not giving up its attempts to capture Kobani. General Lloyd Austin, who's overseeing the American-led military campaign, said Friday the city's fall was still highly possible.